Corrie Vrecken is the third largest whirlpool on the planet and it's situated between the islands of Jura and Scarborough, which are on the inner Hebrides of Scotland. Sally wanted some inspiration from something Scottish and she didn't know about the Corrie Vrecken whirlpool. Martin had been to the Whirlpool several times and he was very keen that this might be the basis of a piece of music and suggested a boat trip. So that's what we did today. We went on a boat trip to see the Whirlpool. The first time I came to Corrie Reckon was um, 13 years ago. It's an incredibly impressive place, the scenery, um, the roar of the whirlpool. It's just a sort of magical place. The power of nature, I think, is what is so impressive about it. I was really delighted when Martin asked me because he's someone I've always admired so much. I've, I've known his playing and known about him for years and years. I've always been a huge fan of his, so that this was kind of a dream come true, really, to write for him. Uh, well, I've been wanting to commission something from Sally Beamy. She's an old friend for quite a long time, and it took um, quite a bit of putting together, but eventually the BBC have commissioned it. The BBC Scottish took on the commission, so they are commissioning the piece. The performance is in December, the 10th of December, uh, at the City Halls in Glasgow, and the conductor will be their principal conductor, Thomas Dowsgaard. The title is the translation of Corrie Vrecken, which translates as um, Cauldron of the Speckled Seas. And that also conjures an image of the power of the place. It's a very dangerous place, Corryvreckan, yes. I think uh, lots of ships have been lost here over the years. Uh, mainly people going into it in a foolhardy way, or not knowing the dangers. I think it's very well documented. I was a bit nervous about the boat trip. Having seen this film, where it's <laughs> kind of in a storm and uh, absolutely terrifying, but Martin assured me that um, it really isn't that frightening. <laughs> and when we came into the area where the whirlpool was meant to be, we couldn't see anything. But then as we got closer, we were literally sucked into it and, and we could feel the boat moving differently. The texture of the water became, became different. You could see these little, um, these little knots of, of water, um, almost like flowers around, around the boat, uh, which were little mini whirling events. Because it wasn't too stormy, we were able to go right into the centre of the whirlpool. As the boat became part of that, we started to whirl as well. It was the most amazing sensation. And it did make me think of, of how one might score that and how that might turn into something orchestral um, with the piano at the centre. The piano is surrounded by a sort of maelstrom of, of instruments, so it's immediately making colours in my head. The compositional process for me starts with something very far off, so I start to hear colours, and that usually happens when I'm first asked to write the piece, and then I start to hear clearer colours and sounds and shapes, and it's as if they come closer, and then they're pinned down into harmonies and notes and, and melodies and fragments. It's as if I'm gathering them all in and everything comes into focus. <laughs> 